the right things. Right? Hey y'all, it's Maddie, certified personal trainer, and I now work in the medical field. And today, we're gonna talk about why won't your butt grow? Why won't it grow? You're doing all the right things. You're eating healthy, you're working out, you work out your butt, maybe you're working out more than once a week. And for some reason, it just won't grow. Why won't it grow? Are you doing all the right things though? Are you? Do you know the things to do? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the first mistake I always see people do is they'll say, Maddie, I'm doing my squats. I'm doing squats all the time. I'm doing squats twice a week. I'm doing 25 squats. Why are you still doing 25 squats if that's not building you a rockin' booty? But really, why, why are you still doing that? There's a lot of people who either don't do squats properly, you'd be surprised how many improper forms there are even after years of working out, and there's a lot of people that are just quad dominant, and so they're working out their quads or their hammies or some other part of their body that's not actually their glutes. So another mistake I see all the time is that women are scared to lift heavy weights. They're scared of becoming bulky and they're scared that uh, basically they'll look manly, which is not gonna work out because in order to build that muscle, you have to be lifting heavy weights. And y'all, that is just the way that muscle building works. You have to really rip and tear into that muscle so that it gets swollen and it gets bigger. That's why you have to work out all the time and why you can lose your muscle even after working out for years if you stop working out for about two months. So think about this. Your gene pool determines the blueprint of your physique. So that doesn't mean, oh, I have bad genes, like I can't build a booty, I just like have a flat ass. No, you can still build a booty, but it's gonna look different than the girl next to you. It's gonna look different than the girl on Instagram. It's gonna look different than that girl on Facebook or in the magazines. Everybody's is gonna look different. And y'all, we do live in a sedentary world now, so we are sitting on our butts all day long. I mean, almost every single job, you are sitting for hours and hours and hours, you're sitting nine to five and you are never walking around. Your butt's literally asleep. It falls asleep. I'm not kidding. You also need to figure out, are you anterior chain dominant or posterior chain dominant? And most people are going to be like, Medi, what the hell? What are you talking about? Let me tell you, anterior means the front, posterior means the back. If you're anterior dominant, you're building and sculpting your quads a lot more easily. And if you're posterior dominant, you're really building up and sculpting those hammies easier. Some people may be like, well, Maddie, I don't know. Well, focus. When you work out, what do you feel? Do you feel it in your quads? Do you feel it in your hammies? Or do you feel it in your glutes? And that brings me to my next point. Are you using mind to muscle connection? Is there any type of neurological functioning when you're working out? Are you really focusing on squeezing those muscles, pushing those muscles? Are you getting any muscle failure? I mean, are you just doing the same exercises over and over and over again? Or are you literally working out until you cannot push that last rep again? You can't do it. Are you squatting deep enough? Are you going hard enough? Are you pushing enough weight? Are you eating enough? If you're not eating enough, you're not gonna be building any muscle. Are you really maxing out? Are you trying hard? Are you thinking about your mind to muscle connection where you're literally thinking about growing those glutes, thinking about what you're feeling and really being in the moment, focusing on your form and doing it properly. Some of the absolute very best booty exercises people don't even know about and they don't do. The hip thrust, the barbell hip thrust is key. 
It is so, so important to load up a lot of weight on a barbell and really lift up and squeeze. That's totally activating your glutes. Are you doing any goblet squats? Um, are you doing any Romanian deadlifts? Are you doing any regular deadlifts? Are you doing the hip thrusts with one leg? Are you doing one-legged lunges? What exactly are you doing in the gym and why do you think they're the best booty exercises? Is it because you like them or they're your favorites or is it because a certified personal trainer told you that these ones were the best ones? And my main point and the whole reason for this video is glute activation. Because a lot of people never activate their glutes, they go through the whole workout just totally mindlessly and they're not actually ever even working out their glutes because their booty is sleeping the whole workout. If your glutes are asleep the whole workout, they're obviously not growing. So what we need to do is activate those glutes. It'll only take five to 15 minutes at the beginning of every leg day workout and I promise you, you will see a huge difference in your growth. And this is going to be the main key, is the glute activation. So I'm gonna show you how to activate your glutes and some of the best exercises to do to activate them and get them woken up and going so that while you work them out, they're actually growing. Okay, girls, let's get to booty making. We are gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna show you exactly everything to do. You can do it with me. I'll film the whole thing. This is always how I warm up. <laughs> 